it's um, Easter Monday we haven't done any filming for a couple of days because well we didn't go anywhere yesterday and then you woke up in a lovely mood oh no no lovely mood tired we we don't like to make horror movies <laughs> and it's been horrendous so last night well, let's start with yesterday. Okay, yesterday, come. I was going to go on last night. We'd only dropped, we'd only travelled two miles, and the wind was, it was honking, and we nearly got sliced in half by a woman. Who, I don't blame her. No, she only just got the boat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. She on. just picked up the boat. We met at a bridge. She said, "Is this how it works? People coming this way have got right away." I said, "Well, to whoever gets here first, but you've got to plan well in advance." So she, she, she imagined. She didn't quite hit her. She sliced across the front of us and it, it, it the offside towpath, bounced across and nearly mounted the pavement, well, the, the towpath, no, but she where, was a, so fish, nice where a fisherman was and sitting. She was a part of a six boat and we've met the guy last year and he was lovely. So anyway, we said that's enough. So we we, we pulled in what, uh, just short of the junction at uh, Bar Bridge, and I sat on the bench watching all the mayhem. And then last night, we, so we put the television on. We got Britain's Got Talent on for some reason. Don't judge us. I know. I judge that. Christ. Right. So anyway, and then suddenly I screamed like a girl because a, there's a face at the window. You thought I was on, you it was, know. It was about half past eight, so it was just going dark. Yeah, yeah, there was this face like that. And there was the biggest Labrador you've ever seen in gorgeous. your life. Gorgeous. And his name was Bailey. Bailey, if you're watching, but, you're gorgeous. But he was on his own. Can dogs watch YouTube? Oh, I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know. He was on his own. So we went out to see who was responsible for him. And there was nobody there. <laughs> And he, he thought, oh, there's a lady girl dog down there. No, no, before this, because obviously John's more the dog person than me, apparently. So he's like the dog, he understands dogs. So you took over, didn't you, from me? I didn't have much choice in taking over because he pushed his way past me. <laughs> pushed past went the down below. Man. We've got a baby gate to stop Ethel from coming out, but this, this 20 stone dog. No, it was about six stone, John. Yeah. Anyway. So there was a Benny Hill chase around the um, around the boat. Oh yeah. So there no, was... he barged his way yeah, through the baby gate. Yeah, no, but it was definitely Benny Hill chase because it was and all around the boat. And he chased Ethel all the way around the boat, and the poor thing was absolutely terrified. So <laughs> I, we didn't know the temperament of this dog. It was lovely. I had to bring it Ethel out to to tempt him to come out, and then his owner arrived. So that I live at the house with eight chimneys. Well. That's yeah. nice. So anyway, so the dog went back and it, we all calmed down. I ran my mother home and oh my god! You know, my usual. And then as I'm on the phone to my mother, guess what? Bailey came back. Without his collar. <laughs> and burst into the boat again. Poor Ethel. Was, um, we said, there's nothing there for you. She's oh. had it all taken away. I know. So anyway. But he, did, he, didn't see, he, he was getting a bit fruity with her, wasn't he? Well, I had to stay on my arm because I had to carry the bloody thing all the way back to his home. <laughs> anyway, that was the last we've seen of Bailey. We haven't seen him since. Uh, we don't, like I say, Three we don't, we don't do know. horror movies, but we thought we'd, we're, we're heading, well, uh, it's still, it's still a bit mad. Anyway, we started this video with Mayhem. And I'm not allowed to, to say any stories. Apparently people find me boring and annoying. Well, he doesn't. I put the camera on yeah. for a purpose. What? Go on. To say something. Go on, say it then. What I was going to say is, <laughs> it might be mayhem and chaos, and it has, it has been. If anybody's been on the canal over Easter weekend. But a couple of nights ago, we did, well, mornings ago, before, when, before we left a nice morning, we did some aerial shots. So. The next thing you should see will be a small interlude of peace and quiet. I've never seen that outside now, which.
been here for years. Right, the plan is to clear Nantwich without sinking anybody or without being sunk ourselves. So we're just on the outskirts of Nantwich. So wish us luck. Well, Tom, how relaxing do you think this is? <laughs> right, so we're following a boat that is, is there's blue smoke, it looks like an old Ford. It we can me. tell when he puts the throttle on, forward or backward, because we can't like see where Ford, we're going. Like, I mean, if I'm honest, it reminds me of, of a cologne engine. That well, he's, a, he's, a, good, engine he's a good indicator to us that there's a hazard yeah, 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 in front, because yeah. he's either opening his but throttle up forward or backward. If, H, if you're watching it, you know what I'm on about when I say the old cologne blue smoke. But this has not been relaxing journey. Lynn and Anthony. Yeah, Anthony, we you, knew the names, yeah. You'll have done this by the time you see this video, because you're setting out tomorrow. Yeah, no, and they'll have had no problems whatsoever, even though we're it hoping, seems to have holding your boat down, apparently. We're hoping everybody's gone back to work by the time you set out tomorrow, but that'll be... But, I'm we, just making we, tins of beans. Do you remember when we were, we went up Porlock Hill, like Cornwall way, and... Oh, yeah. The, the estate boot opened up. No, no, no. What happened was, the on that model, the glass would open independently. Oh yeah, it wasn't the boot. It was the glass. So, and, anyway, and we'd stopped in yeah. Porlock he for a washing up bowl. He no, the, no, no, no. You did break the glass. You, you, you're jumping all to the end of the story. You broke it anyway. We stopped in Porlock to get a washing up bowl because we were camping. Yeah. And I lifted the glass and, and put it on it. top of all the camping gear. And broke it. I didn't break the glass. No, he didn't break the glass, broke the mechanism. But we didn't realise it, it hadn't it hadn't shut properly. So I don't know if anybody knows Paul Lock Hill, it's like it's like that. <laughs> and we we're in a clapped out citron. What happened to all my tins of beans, John? Well we we got we went round this airpin bend near the top and I looked in my mirror and I said, Do you know, even in a beautiful place like this people are dumping stuff all over the road as I'm looking in the and mirror. It's your story. And we've actually got video of this. And I go, oh my God, because I thought, well, it wasn't there when I went round the no, bend. No. And it was all our stuff had we never fallen got out. Because they all <laughs> rolled down the hill. So if anybody's in Porlock and wonders why there's some out of date beans at the As bottom of the hill. <laughs> no, they went into the hedge. We should write a book. Trouble is, nobody believe it. Next. Right, we're just passing Nantwich Boat Club. <laughs> Not stressful at all. That's Floating's wonderful. <laughs> I can thoroughly recommend it for an anybody with Parkinson's who's been told to not to get stressed. Take up boating. I think we have issues with anxiety. I think we. I think if we were medicated. That's part of bar car Parkinson's. You, you have Parkinson's. I'm just weird. You just come out in sympathy. No. Don't anyway, we're we're open to get. Through Nantwich. Oh, that's so that's where Puddle Duck's moored. Oh, uh -huh. you like that boat? So, and it, we probably won't be any more until we're the other I side. I have to say though, I think oh. we're we're going to have about ten years less life because the boat in front is still throwing blue smoke at us. Yeah, but he's he's he's, he's acting as a baffle. He's, he's deflecting oh. all the boats that are coming full pelt at us. Anyway, other side of Nantwich. Well, that was challenging. I'm hoping the front camera caught that. Oh yeah, well, yeah. That, that's on the that. It looked, from the passers-by, it looked like a lot of skill involved, but I've just confessed you're, that there was a lot of luck. There was a lot of luck involved. But we haven't made contact with anybody. Oh yeah. We've got the aqueduct will be the next one. Right, despite what we said, we're in Nantwich. My nerves wouldn't take it any longer. <laughs> so we're going to hunker down here and then move that way in the morning. Or at some point tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 